All right, so buckle up because this deep dive is going to be a wild ride. We're talking meme coins, we're talking battle royale, and we're talking about a blast from the PlayStation Pass. Yeah, really interesting intersection here. You've got nostalgia, gaming, that crypto speculation angle, and a whole lot of hype. It's dopamine, right? Uh -huh. A new token aims to fuel a game kind of like, you know, Twisted Metal. Exactly. Brand new, actually. Launched back in July, and things are already, um, well, let's just say they're interesting. So hit us with the lowdown. What mm -hmm. S dopamine for those who haven't jumped into the mosh pit yet? Simplest terms, think meme coin, but with a play to earn game tied in, all built on Solano, which is a little different. Okay, and this game, it's got that twisted metal vibe. I remember that game, man. Pure chaos. Yeah, that's the hook. It's called Meme Wars. And from what they've shown so far, it's weaponized vehicles, arenas, that whole battle rail thing. They're really leaning into the nostalgia. Smart. Tap into that existing fan base, right? Exactly. We've seen other crypto games do it successfully. In Dopamimi, they seem to be pushing the community angle hard. I've seen the memes, the telegrams hopping. Over 1,700 members last I checked. Yeah, they're running contests, giving away some Solana. They're not shy about drumming up attention. Which, gotta say, is kind of par for the course with these meme coins, isn't it? It is. Question is, can they turn that early buzz into a real dedicated community? That's what separates the fly-by-night tokens from the ones that actually gain traction. Makes sense. So let's talk about the token itself, the dopamine tokenomics. What are we looking at here? One billion total supply. That's their hard cap. But here's where it gets interesting. 99.5% of that earmarked for gaming rewards. Whoa, hold up. That's that's almost all of it. They're really putting their money where their uh, tie tires are. Essentially, yeah. They want people playing this game, holding the token alone. Well, that's standard crypto, right? But this ties it directly to Meme Wars' success. Interesting. So the more popular the game gets, theoretically, higher demand for the token to what buy stuff, earn rewards, all that. Yeah, you got it. Of course, we're talking big ifs here still. Games got to deliver on its promises, but they've also made it easy to get into zero buy sell tax. So low barrier to entry, potentially big rewards, IF the game pops off. And that's the million dollar question, right? It's the risk you take with any early stage project, especially in the meme coin world. Speaking of risk, mm. let's be real for a sec. Meme coins, they're volatile, right? right. Up a thousand percent one day, gone the next. Topa meme. They're not immune to that just because there's a game. Bro, absolutely not. High risk, high reward. It's inherent to this space. That said, Dopamimi's doing some things right. They went through KYC verification, which is always a good sign. KYC. So that means, like, someone actually checked that the team behind this is who they say they are. Right. Not just anonymous devs. Adds a layer of legitimacy. Good to know. Good to know. And what about security? I hear horror stories about hacks and rug pulls. Yeah, that's the other thing. Dopamine, they're using multi-signature wallets. Meaning... Sorry, not all of us are crypto whizzes. No worries. Basically, it means you need multiple people to authorize any transactions. Much harder to steal funds that way. Oh, so that's a point in their favor, for sure. It is. Still, early days. Lots can happen. Speaking of navigating this wild world, you know, for listeners who want to up their game. Got to plug BrianGarvin.com, right? Yeah. That's Brian with an I. Exactly. They've got this incredible free guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, it's super helpful for anyone new to crypto. Totally agree. Submit your name, email, click the link. Boom. Crypto knowledge at your fingertips. Yeah. But back to Dopamimi.2. Tell me more about this partnership they've got with Falkstex. What's that all about? So Falkstex, right. They're a decentralized exchange all about Solana like we talked about. Okay, so like a marketplace, but specifically for Solana-based tokens. And Dopamimi is on there. More than just listed, actually. We're talking staking opportunities. You hold Dopamine, you could earn rewards just by holding it on their platform. Interesting. And Falstex itself, it's what, legit? Growing? Yeah, they're making a name for themselves, which is good for Dopamine, potentially. Adds to that whole, like, rising tide thing. But also, if one sinks, the other one might get pulled down too, right? Yeah. Can't ignore that. Exactly. Got to spread the risk around. Speaking of which... Got to mention BrianGarvin.com again, right? Of course. That free guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, it's a must-read for anyone serious about crypto investing. BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I. Get on that, folks. But okay, back to dopamine. We've talked tokens, we've talked risk. What about this game, Meme Wars? Give us the lowdown. What are we actually playing? Right, so details are still kind of under wraps, you know, got to build that hype. But they're saying, think Twisted Metal, but with a modern spin. Okay, I'm listening. Multiple game modes, customizable vehicles, weapons, the whole nine yards. 
and they're planning on tournaments. Prizes. You guessed it. Dopamine tokens. So they're really going all in on this game, huh? Not just slapping a token on something and calling it a day. Seems that way. They're talking PC, A&D, mobile versions, which is smart if they want to reach a wider audience. For sure. But at the end of the day, the game's got to be fun, right? No amount of hype can change that. 100%. Got to be addictive, got to keep people coming back for more. And that's not even factoring in the competition. Because there's a lot of crypto <laughs> games vying for attention right now. Mm. What makes Dopamimi different? Why should people care? The nostalgia is huge. Like we said, they're tapping into that twisted metal generation, but they're also trying to innovate. There's talk of NFTs, unique in-game items, maybe even player ownership down the line. Whoa, hold on. So you're saying I could own my own like digital death machine car? Potentially. It's all speculation right now, but yeah, that's the idea they're floating. I mean, if the game is good, yeah, that's a pretty sweet selling point. It is. Speaks to the bigger picture, too, right? What blockchain can do for gaming. But again, yeah. early days. Right, right. Okay, so let's say, hypothetically, everything goes right, the game's a smash hit, dopamine blows up. Right. What that look like? Give me the optimistic scenario. Well, they've said their goal is a $2 billion market cap within a couple of years. Ambitious. Sure. Impossible. Not necessarily. We've seen crazier things happen in this space. The meme coin magic, right? Community gets behind something. But here's the catch to hit that kind of target. Everything's got to go perfectly. Game launch, player base, regulations, it all has to line up. High stakes, high reward. So given all that, what should Dopamine be focusing on right now to like solidify their position? What are the make or break moves? Well, I'd say number one. They got to nail that game launch. We're talking smooth rollout, no major bugs, gameplay that hooks people from the get-go. Because a buggy mess. That's a death sentence right there, especially in this market. Exactly. And it can't just be a one-and-done thing. They need to keep the content coming, updates, new features, the whole nine yards, keep people engaged. Right, because that initial hype, it fades fast. What else? The community. That's got to be priority number two. Keep the communication flowing, events, AMAs, all that good stuff. Make people feel like they're part of something. Because a strong community, that's huge EE for a meme coin, right? Mm -hmm. Almost as important as the actual product sometimes it feels like. It really is. And then the last piece of the puzzle, strategic partnerships. Got to get a dopamine in front of the right eyeballs. Influencers, other gaming platforms, even collaborations with other crypto projects. Yeah, it's all about visibility in this space. So to sum it up, nail the game, build the community, and spread the word. Sounds simple enough when you put it like that. Easier said than done, right? Oh. But yeah, they hit those three things out of the park. Dopamine has got a fighting chance. And hey, even if it doesn't become the next Bitcoin, at least we might get a fun game out of it, right? Mm. Speaking of fun, this whole conversation has got me thinking, Got to stay sharp. Got to stay informed if you want to play in the crypto arena. Couldn't agree more. So for listeners who want to level up their crypto game, where should they go again? BrianGarvin.com, my friend. Brian with an I. That free guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, it's a game changer. Seriously, folks, check it out. Name, email, click the link. You're good to go. It can be the smartest move you make in your crypto journey. Knowledge is power, especially in this world. Amen to that. All right, so we've broken down dopamine, the good, the bad, the nostalgic. Now it's up to you to decide. <laughs> is this the meme coin that's going to ride off into the sunset with your portfolio? Or is it headed for a demolition derby crash and burn? Only time will tell, but it's definitely going to be an interesting ride. That's for sure. Until next time, stay informed, stay vigilant, and as always, happy investing. See you all next time.